What's up, fellas? It's Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL cornerback of the Houston Texans and the New Orleans Saints, and now I'm coaching you guys up. Today, we got a clip between one of my favorite cornerbacks and one of my favorite wide receivers, um, DeAndre Hopkins and Jalen Ramsey. And my, my, my young fellas sent me this. I had at least 10 guys. I had at least 10 of my young fellas send me this. And I actually had the same question for all of them. I said, basically, hey, critique it for me. So all my guys. And the cool thing is, usually if, I, if I've if i trained you before, you have my personal cell phone number. And we talk just like homies, man. We are homies. Uh, obviously, I cannot give my cell phone number to every guy who emails me. There, there are a lot of people that email me every single day. But that's one of those things, man. If you guys come and visit me and we train together, and I teach you what I know to help you in your journey. Definitely, man, it's it's all love. Uh, and you get to have my cell phone number, you feel me? But anyways, 10 guys. And I'm really, it feels great. We're going to get into this clip. There's literally only one clip, but I just wanted to express this. It feels great to know that you guys, man, you guys can see it. It's like once you learn certain things of any industry or any sport, you learn the terminology, and you be able to see things. You be able to see the X's and O's, and it starts to, you know, you basically you're able to decode certain things, man, because you've been watching it, you've been learning, you've been watching the channel. You got the one on ones, uh, one on ones mastery program. You got the mind and body. You're able to see certain things, man. It's just amazing to see. So I actually, when I say critique it for me, I want to see if you can see what I can see, and and it's awesome, man. So I know you guys are getting better. That's my point. I said all that just to say this, man. I know you guys are getting better, and I'm proud of y'all, okay? All right, so we got a press man clip right here with Jalen Ramsey. Now I'm just going to let you know, Hopkins, he gets the better end of it, but I want to I wanna show you something that I saw and that my young fella saw. And, um, oh, by the way, make sure you guys, when you guys email me, you new guys, make sure you guys have watched the channel, man. Uh... Make sure you guys have watched the channel so you, you don't ask the same questions, like simple, simple, simple questions, right? So make sure you watch the whole channel. We got 900 videos, man. Watch the whole channel so you don't basically waste your question on a simple question that's been answered a million times throughout the channel, right? Uh, and then ask me for the one-on-ones mastery program. Get that. Get better every single day. All right. So you can understand what I'm talking about. That's half of the battle, too. I want you guys to understand what I'm talking about in these videos. So a lot of times you can get that answered if you know all the techniques that I share. All right. Enough of me talking. Let's watch this. It's very quick. That's the thing about, uh, that's the thing when it comes to, like, the, the best of us. Like, Jalen Ramsey, to me, I would say Jalen Ramsey it's it's it changes, man. It fluctuates. I would say he's the best in the league to me, but it fluctuates. All right, meaning it changes. But right now, it's October twenty third, two thousand eighteen, and the Jaguars are struggling right now. Um, you know, they lost a few games, but uh, still, I, I I'm curious if he goes to the line with the plan. When it comes to technique, I know Marcus Peters does. So I've listened to him. Uh, he's one of my favorite corners as well. They're doing really well at the, with the Rams. I know Akeem Tlaib got hurt, so he's out. All right, so let's talk about this. Fellas, my guys, we've been watching the channel for a while. What do you guys see? Like, what? Where do we mess up, do you think? At the beginning, before we get to the end. Man, first of all, yo, y'all see this catch? <laughs> man, it's a great job. I want. I'm, we're gonna go over a little bit of what I see for receivers too, man. We'll watch it one more time, and it's slight. This isn't like it's easy to see when we watch the Nike opening camp with the best high school guys in the world, right? Their one-on-one -on -one clips is so easy to see where they mess up. When it comes to these guys, when you get to the higher levels, like man, it's kind of difficult to see if you're not if, to the to the untrained eye. All right, so the first thing I see, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna mention it. And the ten guys who did hit me up, 
they saw it too, which is really cool. When we first, and it could be because his eyes. See, it's hard to see where eyes. Are. I'm gonna do a video where I show uh, Marcus Peters. You can see where his eyes are in practice. So you want to train eye discipline the eye on the waist. So that could be the first thing, really. So because it is eyes, feet, hands, and usually if your eyes raise up, that's when you usually do what a jump split. So when your feet jump split, so it looks like he possibly just was just gonna do a regular inside kick step, but maybe not. Maybe he went for the the move right here and Hopkins release. But either way, it's a slight kick step with his right foot and left foot. I mean, I'm not kick step, jump split. So it's when you win a jump split is is when you slightly jump up and you split your feet. Whenever this is a huge no no for us all, fellas. And you probably do it a lot. More some guys more than others. I know I did it. And looking back on it, it really it messes up your press, man. It forces you to immediately so first of all, when you do a jump split, it means your eyes usually are bad. And then you do a jump split and then you kind of get on your heels. You're not gonna shuffle laterally, so you're not gonna bow him out inside or outside. You're not gonna bow him to where he has to go wide, which Hopkins does a really good job of stacking. And holding that line. We'll talk about that. But look. Jump split. Now the right foot is is subtle. Meaning he doesn't do it that. It's not that much. But it's enough to not allow us to shuffle. Uh, at least one or two shuffles this way. Because he does an outside release. And, and strike. So it almost. When we jump split. It forces us to kind of hop either way. And we never hop. We want to shuffle laterally. Does that make sense? So watch how we get out of position at the very beginning. And I, like I said, there's only a certain amount of guys who can teach you this stuff, man, um, in the world. You see how he gets us out of position? I want you to see it one more time. Watch both feet. Watch, these bo watch both of his feet. The right foot's not going to go too. So I, there are levels, obviously. So watch both of them. You see that? Now, like I said, it usually stems from having bad eyes, eyes popping up instead of eyes being on the waist, which it is what it is. It happens to us. We gotta have better eye discipline, right? But watch this one more time. Uh. -uh. So it gets out of it gets us out of position. So if our eyes are bad, then our feet. And sometimes if you don't, if you don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't have a plan with your feet. So always go to the line with the plan with your feet. Well, what do you mean? You'll have a strategy, you have a technique, and you'll process this very quickly in your mind. So you'll know where the, the, you'll know the down and distance. You'll know who you're going against because you study film all week. You know who you're going against. He's gone against Hopkins plenty of times. You'll know his alignment, and then you'll decide what technique you want to do and what uh, alignment you're going to do, whether it's inside head up or outside shade. Right? Let's say you're like, oh shoot, let's do inside kick step. An inside kick step, you're not moving, you're not, you're definitely, you're never going to do a jump split. Because that's just, you know, it's bad technique. All right, so we got over that. So that's the first thing my fella said. Oh, I coach, I, I saw him do a jump split. Okay? Jump split. Gets us out of position. But, Jalen Ramsey, and I mentioned this the other day. Yo, he can run. Because Tyreek Hill is the freaking fastest dude in the league. And even though Tyreek got him a couple times, he caught back up with him. I mean, he was there, all right? So here's the cool. Here's the thing about when you, you mess up in your press. It's hard at the end of the route because, obviously, a good receiver is going to get back on that line, and it's hard on the squeeze. It means he, basically he's going to get to the top of his stem. Now, again, the catch was amazing. Let's, let's see the catch one more time. But I want to show you something that – a savvy receiver does. So it's a one-hand catch. So watch this, fellas. All right. So what would, what would we like to do as a DB? Okay, we get got. It happens. But guess what? One of the best abilities of a cornerback is his ability to do what, fellas? Recover. So he recovers. All right. Excellent job by Ramsey by recovering, catching back up with him. Okay, now what would we like to do when we get to him? We want to 
lean, it's, we call it lean and locate or squeeze. We want to squeeze to him, but we want to widen him out. Basically, it's almost like you're running him out of bounds. But watch how good Hopkins is. He maintains that line. So we get in his hip pocket. So check this out. And the cool thing about it is they're not going to call it on the offense most of the time unless you blatantly push somebody off, right? So watch this. Look at this. <laughs> hey, so we, so Ramsey's doing a great job because he's coming to him and he's being physical. He's he's not holding him. He's not grabbing him. His, he's trying to widen him out. He's trying to squeeze to him before he turns and looks for the ball. He wants to widen him out. Watch, you see Hopkins? Hopkins is keeping him so that he's basically keeping him with that right arm at a small, slight distance, distance, right? He's hold maintaining that line. So remember Billy McMullen, who's a former NFL wide receiver. We sometimes we train guys together and then get in the film room and he talks about maintaining that line instead of letting the DB widen you out, right? So excellent job right here to the point where I'm like, yo, he's pushing him off. And Ramsey was very upset after this because Look, you'll see. So he's pushing them off. Right? And then he makes an amazing one-handed catch. So how many how many guys can do that, right, in an NFL game? Probably not a lot. So excellent job by Hopkins. Yeah, he's upset about that because uh, he did get pushed off. Let's watch it one more time. Let's see. Or a couple of times. You see that little push off? <laughs> Yeah, so they're not going to call it. So, I mean, it stems from the beginning, but great job recovering. And great job by the receiver. You're going against one of the best receivers in the league. All right? And that's how it happens. I will say this. Let's say when we are when we're at that point where we're in his hip pocket and we are looking back, and this is for the young fella that emailed me yesterday. He said, what do I do when I'm running with a receiver? How do I look back? Well, you get into his hip pocket. First of all, you want to squeeze him as far wide as possible. That means try, attempt to run him out of bounds. That doesn't mean push him. Don't put your hands on him and hold him. But you're going to run him out of bounds. We practice that when you guys train with me. If you go to come to Richmond, Virginia, we actually practice that drill, where, how to squeeze and how to run him out of bounds. Now, how do you look back? You scale high. So what does scale high mean? Scaling high means you're looking up first. Because the ball, where's the ball coming from? So I see a lot of guys, when they turn, they turn level already, and then they can't find the ball. So you're squeezing on him, you're squeezing on him, you're leaning on him, you're leaning on him. You're still in control and have good balance. You look up first, because the ball most likely is coming right here. You look up first, and let's say the ball, you don't see the ball, then you level out. So you scale high first. Now, be careful when, it, when you're in this position from a ball skills perspective, be careful jumping up with this arm. This arm right here, unless you know for a fact you got that pick, because the savvy receiver would do what? He'll lean into you, right? I used to do it on the Madden game. You, you play Madden, and you're the receiver, and you'll stop and then go and catch the ball when you're manually playing the receiver. You'll stop and then catch the ball over here because a good quarterback's throwing it where, fellas? He's throwing it to the outside. So what does he usually do? He'll put his hand on you, all right? He'll put his hand on you. He'll stop you. That set. So then when you jump, you're going to jump like right here, and then he's going to kind of fade off. So I'm just saying be careful with jumping with this one. If you're going to jump, if you're not going to make the interception, the pick, go with this arm because uh, basically it can go – It can. it's like you can reach further with this one because and still feel him with this, this hand. Just kind of feel where he is and you kind of lean and stretch more with this one. All right, and if you miss it, let's say you miss it, right? If you miss it with this hand, it's all over. He catches it, he's probably going to run for a touchdown. But if you miss it with this other one, you still can feel him. You can make that tackle. You understand? So that's a little ball skills for you. But it all starts at the beginning. Make sure you do not, if you feel yourself doing that jump split, start to work on not doing it. Obviously, you got to know the techniques and strategies and, and practice it. The 10,000 times, right? All right, fellas. So I'm excited for you, man. I'm so excited. I'm I'm happy. I'm, I'm hearing you guys learning. So keep working. Keep getting better. Never quit. Make sure you guys email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. Ask for the one-on-ones mastery program so you can learn all the techniques and strategies. 
and let's get better today, fellas. All right? Peace.